Welcome back to the Gran Turismo Online League. It's time for one of the most anticipated events all of the season of the GTO League. One year ago today, we were racing the All-Star Race at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. Rashad Metz came in with a victory in that one, and we are here again tonight for the third installment of the GTO All-Star Race, where there's some cash on the line for these drivers. And tonight, I'm actually joined for a, by a driver analyst here in the booth, two-time champion Rashad Metz, who is actually locked into the All-Star Race here tonight. So how you doing here, Rashad? I'm doing great today, Miles. I'm super excited. These guys are going to have to tackle this very tricky racetrack today. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these guys handle it. This is a really fun, fun racetrack. It's going to be a fun to hold the all-star race here because it may look like a simple oval, but this actually is a really technical place. So it's going to be really competitive and really, really tight racing. What do you think some challenges that these drivers are going to face here tonight? I think uh, passing is going to be a challenge, I think, as well as just driving the racetrack, you know, because the line is so difficult. you got to set up your corners. You might want to back some corners up so you can be faster on exit. It's going to be real tricky seeing how these guys try to balance this. And it's going to be all-out racing all night tonight because only the winner of the main event, the All-Star Race, will go home with the $10 grand prize. But these guys aren't locked in yet. This is still the open race, so the top two out of this race will make it to the finale. And whoever wins the last chance qualifying race, which will come up after this. So four drivers will have to go home. I mean, how much um, pressure do you think are on these drivers to, uh, to just try to advance into the final? I think it's going to be a lot of pressure on these guys, but right now I'm just focused on Gavin. Gavin has been so fast through practice right now, and especially in qualifying. So I'm uh, just really looking forward to seeing how he's going to do it and who's going to try to step up to the plate and try to challenge him for this win. Speaking of Gavin, let's see if we can um, talk to him real quick. He sat on the pole for the open race, so let's see how he is feeling. Hey, Gavin, you're rolling off on the pole position for the open. Looks like you got a pretty fast car, one of the fastest that you've been in the track all afternoon. So how are you feeling about your chances of making the main event? Uh, feeling pretty good. I had a good qualifying, so just hoping to keep my luck going and make it through the open. Well, it looks like you got a tough crowd to beat here. So, um, if you don't get, um, how, how much pressure are you feeling here tonight? How are you feeling a lot? Uh, a little bit, because I was really fast in practice, and if I mess that up, then I will be very angry at myself. Well, good luck <laughs> on getting into the main event. And, um, I mean, I guess we're going to go on, go on track side and get this thing started. See if we can see these seven drivers. Only three of them will advance. Two from this race and two from the LCQ. So, man, um, Rashada, tell us about these cars here. I mean, we haven't seen these cars in action since the Strictly Stock Series. So, these things are a little bit of a handful to drive, aren't they? They are uh, a bit of a handful going around this track. I mean, trying to get the line right. The car just wants to push up the track because, you know, it's heavy, not very much downforce. So just trying to figure that out is going to be the challenge today. And they're staged and ready to go. Gavin Morrison is going to lead them to green once the lights go out here. And the lights are out. We're green flag racing in the all-star open race. Who's going to make it in? Gavin Morrison already getting a nice head start there. Ooh, a lot of bumping and banging back in the pack. One thing to take care of is there's no single car spin cautions. You have to have a multi-car incident in order for there to actually be a caution. So it's going to be a cool thing to keep an eye on. Well, people go really wide going into the final corner there. Yeah, it's really, really tough to try to send it in there and make it stick through that flat dog leg, that right-hander turn. Really tough, especially when you're right behind another car. These guys are starting to single file out a little bit. I don't know how bad the dirty air is going to be for these drivers. But so far, they're starting to single file out a little bit, trying to get a little comfortable. Maybe uh, Jack can try to reel in the leader, Gavin Morrison. Yeah, he's trying to. Just got to set some consistent laps here. That's going to be the main thing that's going to affect these drivers all night. you got to be consistent. There's no tire wear or fuel on, so don't have to really worry about that. But, man, this is... Just, you gotta have fast laps, lap after lap after lap. Consistency is key. Consistency is gonna be key at this racetrack. You make one mistake and you're gonna get freight trained. I, no other way around it. Here comes Coco coming off the back bumper of Landon Beach here. Ooh, they both make some contact with the wall. Coco missed qualifying, had to start out back, but he's up in the P5 now. So far, a good start for him as he tries to look to the Ooh, inside of the Landon, inside. Make a little contact. Ooh, and heavy contact, contact in the back of the, the pack. Bench. Ooh, I believe Peter's Peter around. is around. It's an unfortunate tough break for him. 
I wonder if he'll be able to get back with it or not. Gavin Morrison still in control of the field right now, setting purple lap after purple lap. This guy seems to be unstoppable. Yeah, he really wants to get into the open so he doesn't have to stretch in that LCQ. Because, man, this race you got two spots to work with, but the next race you only got one, so it's going to be even more tougher to make it into the all-star race in the LCQ. Look at that 22 car making his way, making some move towards the front right now in third place. Yeah, he's trying to hang on. Needs to pass one more car to get into that transfer spot. And he is gaining some time there on Jack. I wonder if he's going to have enough or... Getting close to halfway here, only a 15 lap shootout for this. Staying in the wall there on the exit of turn one. Yeah, a lot of these drivers, are, it's, all these drivers are, they're all talented and stuff, but we haven't really seen them all in a race of just them. So it's really interesting to see the talent level that these drivers have to bring here to the table. Since this is a spec series, all these guys are driving the same car, so. It's going to be fun to see what these guys will do here for the win. All about, all about driver skill. You know, this is exactly what we want here in the GTO series to see who the best driver is on that particular weekend. And, and today just seems to be the day for uh, Gavin Morrison. Yeah, he's really been pulling away here. He's been fast all weekend and week out. Has finished on the podium, I believe, two or three weeks in a row here in the actual points paying season. So... If he can, wonder if he can actually win the main event here tonight. He's still got to transfer in, but it's looking pretty good for him at the moment. Seems like a battle might be heating up between second and third position right now as Blam seems to be tracking uh, Jack. That's for that last chance for there. spot. It's going to be for that last transfer spot, so Blam really wants that spot so he can make it in. Now, um, Jack actually did win an exhibition race, but unfortunately only points playing race counts as to make you eligible for this event here tonight. But he's in the last transfer spot at the moment, but Blam is coming hard. So far, this is pretty good racing. Real technical track, Miles. Uh, tell me about your experience here, Miles. This is a very technical racetrack. Does it make you miss being in the race car? It does. I remember whenever uh, we, I won the Touring Series race in the Group 3s here. Of course, I think the Group 3s race a lot better on Sport than they do on 7, which is why we don't use them near as much. But, man, just a, it was a fun racetrack with some high downforce car, and it's fun with these cars too. You know, a lot of off throttle time, a lot of trying to get the car planted and trying to get it to turn. So it's just a, these a handful to drive, and it's a really technical but fun racetrack that you just got to get in your groove and start linking those lap times together. We're still looking at that second and third place battle, that battle for the transfer spot. Blam is cutting down the time on Jack the Pack here. What if he's going to get to him before the end of this race? It's going to be interesting to see if he can get there. I am locked in on that second and third place battle right now. Just trying to see what Jack's doing in that race car right now, how he's trying to uh, deal with the situation and manage the gap between him and uh, Blam. He's been doing a really good job so far, which um, one of the things that I've learned from racing and have some instructors told me in the past is never worry about what's in your rearview mirror, only worry about what's ahead of you. Because if you keep looking in that mirror and see that cat car there, you're going to start pushing yourself a little too hard to try to stay ahead, start making those mistakes, start making mess ups, and that's where you lose all your time. That's very true. But right now we're starting to see Jack set down some really consistent laps so far as he extended that gap on Blam in third place. He's really trying to secure that transfer spot. But Gavin Morrison, again, is just very fast. This guy is 5.7 seconds ahead in the lead right now. Pretty much has this locked up. Yeah, he's been pulling away. Only got two more laps to go. But the battle to watch here is for that last transfer spot. Can Blam do it, or will he have to try to get it done in the last chance qualifier? A lot of stress on these drivers going for that $10 prize that was provided by Slinky there. Ooh, way on the apron. I think he got a piece of the dog leg wall. That's going to cause him to lose some more time as we get as um, Gavin Morrison takes the white flag. Gavin Morrison came here and he is fast. He had the car to beat in practice, super fast in qualifying, and he's looking to close this race up with a win to lock himself into the all-star race for his first appearance. And here he comes out of the final turn. 
Gavin Morrison is going to win the All-Star Open and advance into the big show. But the battle for P2, Jack's going to have it. Jack McKevitt transfers in to the All-Star Open as well. So the two drivers in, Blam, Pennis is P3, Coco P4. Uh, Landon Beach will finish P5 as he spins down the front straightaway. <laughs> Peter and Zay are going to finish 6th and 7th. But Gavin Morrison Ooh. and Jack McKevitt. Zay stole it. At the Zay end stole it. Stole six. But 96 one hundredths of a second. But man, what a race there. Gavin Morrison had that thing on lockdown. So Jack and Gavin are going to be the two that will advance in. So let's see if we can talk to the All-Star Open winner. Man, Gavin, you dominated that one. How did it feel there, and how's it feel to be locked into the All-Star race? Uh, it felt pretty good. I'm satisfied with that. No, I don't have to be mad at myself now. Well, that's good. Congratulations on the win of the Open, and wish you luck in the All-Star race. And looks like uh, we, had a, we had a hell of a race here for the Open race. Uh, let's run through the finishing order real quick. Um, Gavin Morrison wins the race, of course, in dominating fashion. Jack McGivitt is going to steal that final transfer spot. He's going to transfer in, and everyone below them is going to have to try to do it in the last chance qualifier. So Blam, Coco, um, Landon, Zay, Peter, all those guys are going to have to try to race their way in through the last chance qualifier. But, man, what a race here for the Open, and... It's going to be a fun one to watch in the last against qualifier because that's going to even be more intense than this one. So um, thank you for commentating me, Rashad, and we'll see you in a couple minutes for the All-Star Last Chance Qualifier Race to see who will be the final driver to make the big event.